Hello there monsters, welcome to our next flip video and in this flip video we are going to be finding the area and perimeter of a polygon. So as a review, remember area is the inside, the space on the inside of a polygon and perimeter is the distance around the outside of the polygon. So let's do a little bit of a review. Let's look at this rectangle, and this rectangle is a length of 6 units and a width of 4 units. So I want you to pause the video. I want you to find the perimeter of our rectangle, and I also want you to find the area of our rectangle. And push play when you're ready. Okay, so we found that our perimeter, when we combine 6 and 4, and then our missing unit was 6 and 4. Our perimeter was 20. And we don't know if this is units or centimeters or meters, so we're not, we do not have a label for this one. And then our area is 6 groups of 4. That's our shortcut. And then we have 24 square units. Okay, now we're going to find the area and perimeter of a multi-sided polygon. So it looks like an L shape, like a backward L. Um, we have a lot of different measures here that we're going to have to look at. When we find area and perimeter, we're most comfortable dealing with rectangles. So whenever you encounter a shape like this, it's important to think of it um, in terms of rectangles. And you can really think of it by picturing the two rectangles being separated here. We could make two rectangles out of this L shape. When we put them together, I'm going to just draw a line right here to show that I'm splitting these rectangles in two. So when we do that, we now have a rectangle right here. We have our first rectangle here. And then we have a second rectangle, the second smaller one here. Now when you do that, you, when you're finding the area, you need to focus on the two measures that give you the length and the width of that rectangle. So for example, on our smaller rectangle here, I have the width given here and the length here. On our larger rectangle, I have several numbers all around. I have a 3 here, a 4, a 5, and a 7. Which of the measures tell me the width of this rectangle and which tells me the length? You're right. The 4 tells me the width and the 5 tells me the length. So even though I have a 3 here and I have a 7 here, those two measures are for the L shape the complete L shape, not for the two individual rectangles. So we're not going to be dealing with the 3 and the 7 here if we're finding the area of these two rectangles. So let's find the areas first. So we have the smaller rectangle, we have a 2 and a 3. So if we're using our shortcut, we're going to take 2 times 3 to equal, you're right, it equals 6 square units. And then with our larger rectangle, we have a width of 4 and a length of 5. So when we find our area, 4 groups of 5 equals 20 square units. Now I want to find the area of our polygon, the entire polygon, which is the entire L shape. So what do I need to do with these two measures? If you said combine them, you are correct. If we combine our six square units from our smaller rectangle with our 20 square units from our larger rectangle, then our combined area is going to equal 26 square units. And that's how we find the area of a multi-sided polygon. Let's find the perimeter of our polygon. Okay, so I've eliminated all the extra writing that we did, and we're just looking at our polygon now. 
with each measure of the side showing. So when we're finding the perimeter, remember we're going around the outside of the shape. So our number sentence is going to combine each measure. I'm going to start with the two and we're going to go around like a clock. So we have two plus three plus three plus four plus five plus seven. Pause the video and push play when you're ready to show, tell the perimeter of the shape. Okay, and for our perimeter we found that our perimeter measures 24. We don't know our units, so we're just going to keep our, our measurement at 24. Okay, here's a practice problem for you. I want you to try to solve this um, multi-sided polygon, try to find the area and the perimeter. So we're going to think about this shape as being two separate rectangles. So the first thing you're going to want to do is copy this down on your whisk. Then you're going to want to divide this into two rectangles. And then I want you to try to solve the area and the perimeter on your own. So push pause, solve the area and perimeter, and then push play when you're ready. Let's see what you came up with. Okay, so for area, our first smaller rectangle has a width of 2 and a length of 3. So we're going to take 2 times 3 to get an area of 6. And then our larger rectangle has a width of 6 and a length of 7. So when we combine 7 and 6, we get 42. We have to combine our areas to find the area of the entire L-shaped polygon, and we get 48 square units as our area of our polygon. And then when we calculate our perimeter, we're going to combine all of our lengths and widths of our side around the distance of the outside of the shape. So I'm going to start with 10, and I'm going to make my way around. So we have 10 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, plus 7, plus 6, to get the area, or the perimeter of 32. All right, so to end, our joke for today is, what do you call a snail on a ship? What do you call a snail on a ship? So don't forget your whisk is due on Monday, February 1st. Be sure to bring that in with you. Don't leave it at home. And I hope you have a great weekend.